Hey, Valentine's Day is only a few days away and love is in the air. So, if you want to look good for your boo and need a nice tutorial, you've clicked on the right video. Stay tuned! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sakhmanta. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you watching. So today is going to be a tutorial on how to get this look. So stay tuned if you want to hear me talk for a little bit, if you want to see me do my makeup. If you're already part of the family, thank you so much for tuning in once again. And if you're not, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel, leave a like, leave a comment, share it with your friends, and let's make this channel grow. Wig switch. I could have been wearing a bonnet right now, but since we got the wigs, why not? I just want to show her off real quick. This is going to be a get ready with me slash chit chat. When I get tired of hearing the sound of my own voice, I will cut it and it's going to be a voice over. So for this video, I'll be using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I also like to put primer on my brows just because they do get oily, so I don't know. Now that my face is primed, I'm going to be doing it. So next we're going to be doing the brows. I'll be using the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the color 4. Whoa, okay, relax. <laughs> Why am I stressed? Honestly, I don't really feel like talking, so this is going to be a voiceover thing, alright? So line the top of my brows and the bottom just very lightly so it doesn't look too crazy like it does right now. I'm just going in with my spoolie so my brows don't look too harsh. And one thing about me, I know how to do makeup and I don't know how to do makeup at the same time. So please do not roast my technique. The next color I'll be using is uh, this one. It's kind of a brown ginger burgundy-ish, I don't know, color just because my brows are lighter and that's how they're going to match. So yeah, that's good enough. I am satisfied. So the next step is actually my favorite step. I'm going to clean up the contour of my brows. The first concealer I'll be using is by LA Pro Girl and it's actually the yellow corrector. I like to use this part on my brow bone. And for the front, I'll be using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Contour Concealer in the shade Golden Honey. And to blend everything beautifully, I'll be using this brush. I don't know the names of the brush, but it's a big fluffy one. Just use one that you can blend. When it comes to makeup, I realize that the techniques don't really matter as much. Just make sure that you're always blending so you have a seamless look when you're done your makeup. I am done my brows. I don't typically do the top. I'll see what I feel like doing, but that's how I do. So next step, we're going to do the brow, um, guys, Shabaka Scooch Fuck you. I'm just applying concealer to my eyelids so the eyeshadow can stay on longer. How do you guys feel about this whole pandemic thing? Me, personally, I'm over it. We're in Ontario right now. We were supposed to get out this week, but our prime minister pushed it to the next week. So hopefully by February. 16 we're out i'm done i need to go out i have friends i have things to do i need to shop i just need to go out you know go to the restaurant all these good stuff fun activities i'm personally over it i look kind of crazy right now but don't worry about it sweetheart don't worry about it it's going to look good the next step right now is going to be the eyeshadow i want the main focus to be my lips i'm gonna wing it the first palette i'll be using is rimmel london mini power palette i'll be putting this color 
all over my lid. So this would be more exciting if I'd be actually going on a date right now, but you know, we're stuck at la maison. Let's blend, 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 blend. Now I'll be going in the outer corner and crease section of my eye with the darkest brown color of the palette. By the way, thank you so much for all the love on my uh, Big Chop video. I was really excited and really happy to see that you guys had such nice things to say about my hair. So now I'm going to go in with this color. Oh, this is the random makeup palette I got at Shoppers. It's called Makeup Revolution London. So I'll be going here in my crease-ish area just to warm it up. For a minute, can we just talk about the Gorilla Glue <laughs> lady? Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, so basically this lady did a ponytail and she wanted her hair to be super snatched. So what she decided to do is to use some Gorilla Glue to spray on her hair. Now Gorilla Glue is some um, industrial grade type of glue and I think she wanted to use the Gorilla Snot which is actually a hair product. But she used the Gorilla Glue on her head. It did not go well. I'll put in the pictures. Like her head was stuck in a ponytail for a month. and. The thing about the Gorilla Glue is that it's water activated, right? So once you put water, it makes it harder. And this poor lady trying to get it out of her hair, she actually <laughs> washed her hair 15 times. So her head is basically that solid. So everyone felt super bad for her. She's losing a lot of hair and personally, if that was me, I would die. The safest thing to do is to be like me, have a hairdresser. I don't know how to do hair. I can do very, very basic hairstyles. Therefore, I don't try to figure things out. I go to my cousin, Mirka, I want this, 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 and she gets it done and it's beautiful. Let me know if you're spending Valentine's Day alone or if you got a little boo thing you're spending your time with. Hopefully y'all can meet in person. If not, like, have a Zoom slash FaceTime date, you know? <laughs> so I think I'm going to add um, a bit of gold here because it's Valentine's Day. I forgot to mention that I'm using the shade Senegal from Juvia's Place, the Saharan palette. Another Juvia's palette, it's actually the Masquerade or Masquerade. I'll be using the shade Calabar. Quick update and good news concerning the Gorilla Glue lady. Turns out that she was able to find a doctor that removed all the product from her hair. I'm really happy for her. That's it for the eyeshadow. I'll be doing my brow bone lightly with some gold. Just to add some extra pizzazz because c'est la fête de l'amour, right? Okay, next step is going to be my eyeliner. I'll be using my Ramel London Exaggerate Eyeliner. I like to do the wing first and then the rest. So I'll be doing it with this eye. So the thing with me is that I do have hooded eyes. So the way I do my eyeliner is kind of weird and sometimes they're not exactly equal. But with the way my eyelashes are set up, you can't tell. So it doesn't really matter. Talk to me nice. Talk to me nice. Time to put on the lashes using simple lash glue Ardell. Yes, I'm one of those people. I can put on lashes with my fingers. I like to wait for the glue to be a bit tacky. It makes the application easier. Your lash is not moving around. Now it's white, but as it dries, it will be clear. Middle, inner corner, outer corner. That's how I like to stick on my lashes. Up next, we have foundation. Now, usually I would be using the Maybelline Fit Me two different shades to get my color, the 335 and the 340. But as of right now, I'm a bit more pale due to no sun being on lockdown. So I'll be using just a little bit of this, but mostly the 335. 
I'll put the darkest shade around my jawline, right here, nice and beautiful, and uh, I would put it here, but I'm going to put a wig on so no one's going to see, and here, just because my natural lip liner goes all the way here and it's not cute, I'll be putting the lightest shade everywhere else. Let's get to blending. I do my forehead after because I do it after. Next step, concealer. Again, I'll be mixing the Can't Stop, Won't Stop with the LA Pro Girl to get the desired color. I used to do the triangle but I have a round face if you pull it all the way down it actually makes your face look rounder and that's not the look I'm going for and I'll be putting the Ellie Pro Girl yellow corrector also but just in the front so to wet my sponge I'll be using my wet n wild natural finish setting spray and that's where you want to beat the heck out of your face. Turns out that my battery's gonna die soon, which is very unfortunate. If it stops, you know why. I'll do what I can off camera. This is where the video becomes extremely chaotic. I'm trying my best to finish my makeup before my battery dies. Now I'm gonna force and finish. I'm going to bake. Right now, I'm using my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop setting powder in the shade banana. Thank god I don't have a real date because I'd be rushing it right now. Yo bouge! <laughs> just crazy. Honestly guys, too much stress. I'm making a mess and a half. I'm just gonna relax and it is what it is. I have the worst method of applying banana powder. I know, okay? I suck. Meh! She cute that way. I look so dumb you guys. <laughs> Okay, let me try and get some contour in before this closes. Ugh, I'm gonna use this brush and then blend it with my foundation brush, alright? A mix of these two for my contour. I don't really know how to contour or bronze the difference. I think contour is more brown, bronze is more red. Whatever. As long as the job gets done, so. What? <laughs> wow. You know what? I'm just gonna blend my life away because this is too much. <laughs> blend, blend. Oh. Come on, hurry. Yeah, I'm gonna blend this. Oh, it's so cute. What the heck? Hello, baby. Hello. Hi, babe. Hi, babe. We'll do just a bit of bronzing. Up there, so now bronze is red. Apparently, bronzing is supposed to mimic where the sun hits. So let's do it here. <laughs> Guys, I'm back. That was chaotic, to say the least. But I finished my face, I put some blush. The blush I put on is from Milk. It's the shade Work. And the highlighter I put on is the same Senegal from that Juvia's Place palette. I put my setting spray on, Natural Finish by Wet n Wild, like I said previously. Um, so now all I have left is to do my lips, finish my eyes. I'm going to tight line my eyes with the normal black eyeliner. I don't know if y'all can see the difference, but it gives me more of that sexier, seduction kind of look. So. That's it. I'll also be applying some mascara. I have the Milk Kush Mascara. Now I'm going to bring the camera closer, all up close and personal, and uh, do my lips. I'm going to put the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Monte Carlo. And what I like to do with my red lip is to lip line with black I like to do a bit of an ombre this one on my eye kind of gross so let's just get rid of the eye cooties okay, so 
until I'm done. <laughs> I look crazy, but I just like to put my lips together. I'm going to go in with my red. Ooh, I'm excited. I haven't done a red lip in such a long time, but... I ended up putting too much eyeliner and I didn't like it, so I wiped it off, went back with the same lipstick, and added a brighter one in the middle to give me the perfect shade of red. This is the final look, makeup-wise. So now I'm going to get dressed to show you guys the final result. There you have it, a nice, simple, and easy Valentine's Day look with a nice, bold red lip. That's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know this get ready with me tutorial was chaotic, but the final look did not disappoint. So once again, thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I wish you all a very happy Valentine's Day, whether you're booed up or you're by yourself. So take care and see you next time.